Okay. Looks like we're uh, there to go. Got to be about 11.30 by now. <sighs> I've only driven about 400 miles today. So, looks pretty nice. I hope it holds up on the rain. I hope it doesn't rain, but if it does, Supposed to be one of the best tent in the world. Kelty. Later. Good morning everybody, John and good here. Greetings from Birch Big Birch Lake, I think it is. Campground. Somewhere in Minnesota. Ah, let me get out of here first, then we can review the Go this way. Okay. Let me get some air circulating here, kind of warm. All right, so today is uh, Saturday, August 13, 2022. Temperature here is 64 degrees, but very humid. Our current odometer reading is 46537. Uh, this has been a 449 mile trip from Sheboygan and uh, Alright, let me tell you what happened last night From the last video it was uh, <laughs> It was worse than the bug out of uh, Afghanistan uh, I arrived too late You're not supposed to do that, you know, on your learning experience. I literally was covered in sweat trying to make things put together. And uh, the tent, uh, the tent was too small. It really is. The worst part was the air mattress that I bought is just as wide as your back is. No more than no more than that. And if you now, I'm a side sleeper, and uh, I I just have this feeling I'm gonna fall off. Not to mention it was really warm last night. I mean, it wasn't warm, warm, but it was warm that would, if you would make, if you would make a lot of movement inside your tent, 
you'd be sweating like a dog. Um, so needless to say, I did not get a whole lot of sleep last night. I, the things that are working and the things that are not working. My battery pack for my CPAP machine is working. My helmet is working really good as far as uh, microphones and speakers. What else? It did not rain last night. I suppose I better put my GPS on. Drive northwest, then turn left. Okay. We are 1,040 miles to Glacier National Park. Drive two miles, then turn right. Uh, what else? The gas can was working really good. In fact, yesterday, I filled it up just to simulate, you know, what would it be like. No issues at all. Uh, this morning, I filled up my tank. I mean, I I poured out half of the, uh, the tank out. I didn't want to carry all that weight. Uh, but there's still one gallon left in there, just in case for emergencies. What else? Ah, the, uh, the packing. The packing was an enormous task. It was, I woke up at 6.30 or 7, it is now 10.12, so it took, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 3 to 3 and a half hours to put all back together. Uh, so, okay, one more thing that's not working is my motorcycle rain gear pants is too small I don't know why I ordered I ordered these the same size as my jeans would be I forgot to compensate that you're supposed to you know you're supposed to uh, Compensate for your jeans that you put on. In point five miles, turn right. Uh, the boots are okay. boots are good but I think I have come to the conclusion 500 feet turn right one one more issues that I could share with you is that uh, drive 7.6 miles then keep right One more issue that I can share with you. I had uh, leg cramps all over, all night long last night. And of course you can't stand up in the tent. Uh, Lake Sylvia.
and you know this was this was one of the good perfect weather for this can you imagine doing this while it's raining I mean man oh man and you know one thing that I realize is that camping is a lot of work So, yeah, I know, lesson learned, big mistake, very, very expensive mistake. I even thought about going to the post office and mail all my, uh, mail all my camping gear home and be done with camping. You know what I mean? I think it's safe to say that uh, this is Melrose. Come sit, visit us in Melrose. Melrose. Minnesota. Needless to say that tonight I am going to grab me a dirt cheap motel somewhere. And one more thing that I was kind of dreading was the uh, the editing of the video while being eaten alive by mosquitoes. That wasn't fun. Going to sleep covered in sweat and then all sweaty from packing all your stuff um, of course no shower so yeah mama told me that uh, I'm just gonna grab a hotel from now on. I don't know, maybe I will keep the camping gear uh, with me just for emergencies. You know what I mean? But, uh, anyway, I gotta call mama and uh, let her know what happened. So, all right, we are 1,035 miles to Glacier, and uh, again, the temperature here is 66 degrees. We've got a little bit over a tank, half a tank of fuel, and we'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Fergus. Fergus, Minnesota. Gasoline here is three eight three dollars and eighty nine cents. All right, for those of you who want to buy me a tank of gas, you can do so on my PayPal account. It is walretj at gmail dot com. Uh, I'm Joshua Perry from the Rally, and here are your NFL draft grades. Malik Willis, quarterback out of Liberty, was taken number Right eight. now, I am extremely tired. Now, here's a guy who's going to bring I am so tempted to right find a hotel and just sports, go to sleep. I think today is a bust. Problem is the local time here. It is still 11:39, so they're not going to be even. They're not even going to be open yet. I think check-in starts at two o'clock. So yeah.
Very pleased now to see you. This is seventeen dollars and eighty three cents. We'll catch you guys later. Alright everybody, since we didn't have any uh, dinner last night, I ordered two bison burger over here at the Big Chief in Fergus, Minnesota. We'll catch you later. All right, everybody. <clears throat> this is the Big Chief Cafe inside Marathon Gas Station here in Fergo, not Fargo, Fergo, Minnesota. Oh, that coffee just really helped a lot. It did not do the magic trick of I'm all right. It's in three hundred feet. Turn left, then turn right. It's one of those nights you feel like you had a horrible night sleep. The local time is twelve twenty-four. Temperature is eighty-two degrees, and uh, continuing our journey to. Turn right. Glacier National Park, 965 miles away. Drive 451 miles, then exit right. The trip odometer is 533.3 from Sheboygan. Current odometer reading is 46621. Moorhead, 58 miles. We're at a mile marker. What mile marker are we at? We're not that far from uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, uh, nice. Look at that. That's what Minnesota is famous for. 10,000 lakes. Where's that mile marker at? Come on. Sixty miles to the North Dakota state line. Peace. Welcome to North Dakota, everybody. Hey, everybody. Looks like I uh, forgot to plug in the microphone jack into the GoPro. So there's. Uh, the camera is recording, but uh, obviously can't hear me at this point here. This is entering North Dakota, um, somewhere near Fargo, North Dakota. And uh, not much really going on, just giving you guys the update here, kind of uh, where I was, time and temperature and all that stuff. So I didn't really miss much, but uh, yeah, I apologize for this debacle here. All right, later. Okay, at this point, I am trying to figure out and try to remember that there is a truck stop right here. And I couldn't really remember what truck stop it was, but... Um, I thought it was the Flying J or the Petro, and um, I guess it was the Petro. 
I've stopped at that Petro many, many, many times, slept there many times with, uh, with my semi, but it's been a long time since I've been through here. And this is my first time to ride in North Dakota with my uh, Honda Goldwing here. So not much really going on. At this point here, I'm trying to figure out what the building is. I thought it was a hospital, but it turns out to be, yeah, I thought it was a hotel, but it turns out to be a hospital. So that's pretty much it. All right, later, peace. Recalculating. Take ramp ahead.
Drive, point four miles east, then turn right. Hey everybody, John Abigadir. Uh, greetings from Valley City, uh, North Dakota. All right, I am in a motel room um, at uh, let's see, about three thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon. I was just falling asleep on the road. Right now, I feel so embarrassed. I feel like a big failure. But you know, my wife was all right about the camping stuff. She warned me about this, but I thought I could do it. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I, I liked the camping part. I really did. Um, it was nice and fresh, quiet. Uh, it just don't have the right equipment don't have the experience but it's mostly the equipment um that's really the the biggest factor and the experience but um as i mentioned you know Yesterday, yesterday the weather was perfect. I mean, it was a little warm, but hey, that's outdoors. That's expected. Uh, it's just the things. What happens to the nights and days that are the weathers are you know not cooperating? What happens then? And mostly, it's getting up. Off the ground, it's hard. I get leg cramps all the time, and I need to stand up. And ugh. so, there's nothing, nothing written in stone. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna do it again. But if I did ever consider doing it again, I would probably have to buy the very minimum. I would have to buy a uh, one of those Walmart blow up uh, sleeping mattress that they are actually wide. That I can deal. I mean the the mattress that I had last night was only this wide. I mean it was only wide as your back if you lay on it, and not move. As soon as you turn on your side, you slide and you fall off. Ugh. So, yeah. Anyway, all good. The plan is still gone. Um, I feel horrible that I had to turn in at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But my plan is to ride early tomorrow and be in uh, Glacier National Park sometime by tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night and then do glacier national park either uh, well definitely on monday morning so i could possibly be entering because tomorrow is uh today is the local time right now is 9.17 p.m. Saturday, August 13. So tomorrow I got about 800 miles of riding. And so we'll be there Sunday night. And uh, who knows? Who knows? We'll play it by ear. But I slept at 3.30, took a shower. I was so worn out. Um, I got out of the shower. I had the air conditioning at full here at the coldest settings, and I was still sweating. I was, I think I was having a like a heat stroke kind of a thing, you know. But 
I slept for three hours. I was actually tempted to go, <laughs> but I said, you know, what a waste. <laughs> hundred and thirty dollars of motel room and then while well, you're just gonna sleep for three hours but uh, anyway happy thoughts happy thoughts we'll try it again tomorrow for now thank you and uh, I am really sorry about the drama here really am I'm just learning I'm trying my best peace